Hi, this is a short video about the Renogy solar panel fitting. Uh, this actual model was a 100 watt, 12 volt flexible solar marine kit. Uh, it was on sale at Renogy for 220 quid. Um, the online feedback for Renogy is not great because uh, in the UK there doesn't seem to be any direct um, customer support. However, Everything's been okay so far for this. I'll take you through what the controller is saying. It's saying currently that the battery is 14.7 volts. It's 15 degrees down there because of the temperature sensor that goes down from the box. 920 volts going into the battery and 1.1 amps or 0.7 an amp now. It's changing with the sun, obviously, 0.5 kilowatt hours. Uh, so that's just flicking through its normal um, run through of what the solar charge controller is, is, is saying. Um, and in this kit you've got all the wiring, uh, the temperature sensor, the flexible solar panel, um, etc. Uh, there's two sets of wires going into this thing. Uh, we've got uh, the wires coming in from the solar panel. And we've got wires going out to the battery and to the temperature sensor. Temperature sensor is just actually linked on top of the battery. So uh, what I've got here is the wires coming in from the solar panel. They've come straight through the bodywork. Um, the bodywork goes into, this is a 1979 VW camper van. Um, it's a uh, VW transporter type 2. Uh, it's coming through uh, through the vent, engine vents, uh, up to the solar panel connectors. Solar panel connectors, you can have these, connect them in series or in parallel. And you can see that actually I have fitted the solar panel uh, as thus. There's some foam there and there is some just uh, self-tapping screws that have screwed that on. The wires out of the controller uh, come out of this part of the controller. They, again, they go straight through the bodywork, down that vent, into the engine bay of the 1979 camper van to a leisure battery, a Type-C leisure battery. This is one of the lowest grades of leisure battery that you can get. There's the description stats on this Halfords leisure battery. It's one of the cheaper ones. It's a good leisure, leisure battery for running what I want to run, okay? You don't need uh, anything too fancy. Uh, this is fine. It's got a split charger. Uh, when we're going along, running off the alternator, uh, that's the main battery. Um, I got Halford's batteries when I was redoing the van. Uh, I was wrapping the van and getting it all, uh, all sorted out. That all runs a number of things in the van itself. Uh, in the van itself, it's a fairly rare beast. It's a double sliding door um, camper van. It used to be a uh, delivery van. It's got the original pop-up top on it. Um, we've got the bed permanently out at the moment. Uh, we've got in here a fridge, uh, a fridge from Just Campers, and it doesn't flash. Uh, that's just the LED on the video. Uh, but that solar panel is running this fridge. That solar panel also runs a camping kettle that we've got. Camping kettle because it's um, low for low wattage. Um, that's running through an inverter which is coming off the battery and also uh, this um, leisure battery runs a couple of other things on this van. Um, it's got a heated front windscreen if I need that and also in the front it's got a um, it's got a heater uh, that's the controller for the Propex heater. So the Propex, Propex heater's got a fan on it. Uh, so if we were running everything at once in the dark, we would probably struggle. Um, but we don't. So um, if the kettle's on, obviously it starts to draw quite a large amount of voltage from the, um, from the system here. 
but on a day like today in sunny Shieldig on the west coast of Scotland.